Hey guys, my name is Ryan. I'm the CEO and founder here at Upkeep. Today we're going to be walking through our API docs. I'll talk a little bit about the super high level about how to use them, what they're good for, and then we'll go into directly a use case using a program that we use here internally called Postman. Um, so a few things just to get started right off the bat. The first thing that you want to do is create your Upkeep account. Um, so hopefully if you're watching this video tutorial, you've already started um, and you've created your Upkeep account. But if not, go to app.onupkeep.com. Make sure to sign up for that free account. Um, and then just to be fully transparent, you will have to have an active, fully paid Business Plus account on Upkeep in order to, to use our API docs. So assuming that you've got all of that done, you're, you should have already logged into your account. Now you can go to developers.onupkeep.com um, to find our full API docs. Now they're pretty simple to use. You can also have use a search bar here. Um, but cool, so just to get a super high level, what I've done already is I've created a, an account demo API um, here at Upkeep and then with a password of Upkeep. Now the first thing that we wanna do is we want to walk through our authentication. We use a pretty simple method for basically username and password. And then passing in that endpoint, you're gonna get a session token. And that session token would be used for all the subsequent calls after that. So cool, let's walk through how to get that session token, assuming that you've already created your upkeep account. The first thing you wanna do is call the authentication endpoint um, with your email and password. So first I'm gonna copy this request let's go into postman now and if you guys aren't familiar with postman you can go to postman.com and download the application so let's get a session token the first thing that i want to do is call create a post request and then in this post request we want to make sure that we pass in a few parameters so in the request body, we're gonna pass in a, an email and password. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna switch it to URL encoded. I'm gonna make sure that I have an email. My email that I created was demo API plus 123 at onupkeep.com and a password, or yeah, a password of upkeep. Let's go ahead, double check that I have everything correct. All right, so let's go ahead, go ahead and hit send. Now, great, this basically means that I've successfully logged in. I've returned a result with our session token and an expiration. And this expiration basically is good for one year um, from the date that it was issued. You can also force invalidate a session token by logging out using that session token, but obviously for this use case, we don't wanna do that just yet. All right, um, cool, so what's next? After we've done this, we've gotten our session token, now we wanna go ahead and use it. Um, so this is our main work orders page. Let's say with our API, we want to um, create a work order. So let's go ahead and figure out how we can create a work order using the APIs. So let's go ahead, create a new request. I'm gonna go over to our work order section and I can read the API docs on how to create a, create a work order. So the first thing that we wanna do is post request to this endpoint here. So I'm gonna copy the endpoint there. We'll do a post request. And now what we also want to make sure that we do is make sure that we start passing in the session token in, in the header for all of our requests now, now that we have it. So going back here, we've got our session token. Copy this. I'll make sure that I add this into the headers here. And now I wanna make sure in this request body, now I can start passing in parameters that I wanna create this work order um, with. So let's do a title, a, a description, and a priority. 
I'm going to make sure that's a URL encoded as well. Let's go ahead and add a title. Um, I created a work order from the API. Cool. Now we want to description. A description of the work order. And then with our key or with our priority, we want to do a zero, one, two, or three. So let's call this a high priority work order. Let's call this number three. Great. Now let me just double check that we've got everything right. We've got the session token. We've got the body. Cool. Let's go ahead, hit send. And this is basically saying that it successfully went through. So it created a work order with this ID, this title, description, and this priority. Um, let's go ahead and see if it gets reflected in our upkeep account. So refresh the screen. And cool, we've got this new work order. We've got a high priority work order with a title. I created this work order from the API and a description here. Pretty simple. All right, cool. So now what happens if we want to start fetching this wor these work orders? All right, so if you want to get all work orders, you're going to call this endpoint here with a get request. So let's go ahead and do that. We want to always make sure that we're passing in the session token in the header. Got to make sure that we've got that session token, which is here. Oops. We've got this session token and we are good. Cool, so now this is gonna pass back all of our work orders. Now, what happens if you wanted to start filtering th your work orders through our endpoint? What you're gonna do is pass it into our query parameters. Um, a few things with our APIs. Basically, for APIs, we have a, um, we have a limit of 1,000 for fetching all of our work orders. And then once you hit that thousand, you can also do an offset and paginate through it. So what you'll first do is you'll, if you wanted to fetch a thousand work orders at a time and you had 10,000 work orders in your account through a specific query set, what you'll do is you'll call this get all work orders endpoint with a limit of a thousand. You'll then paginate through that thousand by doing an offset of a thousand, the next API call. Um, and then you'll do the next one with an offset of 2000, next offset of 3000, 4000, 5000. Um, and you'll basically do 10 API calls to get all 10,000 work orders. Now, another thing that you wanna be very mindful of is that all of our dates must be in Unix, Unix timestamp in milliseconds. So that's something, that's a small little gotcha, but it definitely confuses a few folks. So make sure that all of your timestamps are in milliseconds. Um, cool, so now let's pass in a, let's create another work order real quick, and then what we can do is pass in some query parameters. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna pass in, I'm gonna create another work order with a different title, number two. And what I'm also gonna do is, I'm gonna change the priority to a zero. Cool. So now in our upkeep account, we have two work orders, one with a high priority, high priority and one with a low priority or no priority. Then you can also see here when we fetch all of our work orders, we're gonna get an array of two different work orders here. But now let's say we wanted to, we wanted to um, filter out these work orders. What we're also gonna do is we can start passing in some query parameters. So let's say we wanted to pass in 
Um, instead of, let's see. All right, let's say we wanted to only fetch work orders that were that had a status of completed. So let me go ahead and complete this work order here in the API or here in the actual application. So we've got one that's open, one that's closed. When I now again fetch this, it should return both of them, but now one of them is open and one of them is complete. If I wanted to filter our work orders by status, what I can now do is pass it in as a parameter here, so status, and I only wanted to fetch, let's call it completed work orders. So now when I uh, fetch these work orders, it should only pass back work orders with a status of complete. So again, pretty simple to use our APIs. It's just a combination of you know, our parameters, making sure that we've got our session tokens, um, and any post requests we're gonna do in the actual body itself. A few gotchas, including milli, milli, Unix timestamp and milliseconds, um, and all that good stuff. So this is the quick, quick introduction to our API docs from authentication to creating a work order to actually fetching all of your work orders you, using a program called Postman. Again, you can go to look at Postman, um, getpostman.com to download this actual application, um, which for us helps visualize um, all of our APIs. That's the first session in our API docs. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great rest of the day.